Hello everyone, welcome back. So far we discussed how we are going to implement Lambda for using a renewable or how can we use comparator with the help of uh, Lambda functions, right? So because we know that our renewable and comparator, those are all functional interfaces by default, okay? So for example, if I want to see what are the methods or what are the imp I mean, uh, declared methods inside the comparator. How we are going to do that? Just click Control and mouse over and see, open implementation. It'll take a while. Okay, sorry, not implementation. Just Control and click the comparator. You can see something like some class files, but it's everything looks like it's a grid and lack here. Okay, so what we are going to do is before we are jumping into the functional interface, how we are going to implement everything, okay? We are going to install a plugin, which will help us to see each and every functional interface, what are the method it contains, okay? So what we are going to do is, I am going to download yeah, Eclipse plugin, okay? So let's do that. So this is just Java decompiler. So just open your browser and uh, look for download JD Eclipse plugin and uh, in the search result you can find Java decompiler which is nothing but Java iPhone decompiler at github.io click the particular link and this is JD decompiler for GUI and we need it for Eclipse okay so here there is a link for download you can here is the file you can download the zip file and keep it in your local okay I already downloaded it it's there in my uh, uh, my hard drive so I stored in my uh, e drive uh, under the development folder so what we are going to do is I'm going to install this offline plugin into my Eclipse let's do that so what we're going to do is just go to help and install a new software and uh, add and it is going to be a local repository just name it uh, JD compiler I mean Java decompiler it's user different you can give whatever name you want and you need to choose the zip file see my computer media software and the development we have the JD Eclipse here okay open click OK and expand this you can see the plugin here just click and click next so now we are installing the Java decompiler plugin it might take a while so you need to wait for some time so then you need to click next and accept the terms and condition and click finish so it will take a while and uh, you will get a pop-up like saying you are trying to install the uh, unauthorized plugin but you don't have to worry about it you can just install it anyway so once it is done, you need to restart your Eclipse. Just click restart now. Just wait for a minute. Here we go. We are ready to go. Okay. So, but we are not finished yet. So that is one another thing which we need to done. So go to Windows and go to Preference and search for file association here you need to provide class files it has to be opened by class file viewer or the new install plugin so I just highlighted a class here and I'm going to make the JD class file viewer as a default and do the same okay apply and close now we are ready. Let's see. This is going to be magic. Just click comparator. See, now we got a plain Java file. Right? So the previous one it's just a class file. It's a compiled one and this is on a decompiled one. You can see all the methods which is available under the comparator interfaces. Okay, let's try runnable. See? under the runnable you can have only one in method which is nothing but our run method so this is a functional interface right okay 
so this is going to be the end of this particular video so in the next video we are jumping into the actual functional interfaces so we are going to talk about the what is functional interfaces and what are the topics which are going to cover and what are the interfaces we are going to cover everything we are going to see discuss in the next video thank you